Imagine talking to someone who's thousands of miles away, but it looks like they're sitting right across from you. Google has developed a technology called Starline. They will now test their prototype with several business partners in industries such as media, health and retail. Could this 3D magic mirror revolutionise how we interact in the future? And can Google compete with other companies such as Meta and their VR metaverse? Getting science fiction vibes yet? Project Starline, which doesn't have anything to do with Elon Musk's Starlink by the way, creates a 3D image of you. It then compresses it and sends it to a second display anywhere in the world in real time. A nice way to battle that zoom fatigue many of us are feeling, right? Technology and the pandemic have drastically changed the way we interact, especially at work. So improving our digital communication with holograms or something similar could be the next logical step. Several years in development, Starline has only been used in a small number of Google's offices, until recently. They've now set up test booths in other companies like WeWork, T-Mobile and Salesforce. Booths? Yep. The technology behind Starline is massive and can only be used in a stationary form right now. Several cameras are needed to record the user's image. Google doesn't say how much their devices cost, but they sure won't come cheap. This setup is not at all ready for the masses yet, but it could be interesting for large companies with offices around the globe. Maybe it could even spark a sort of revival of the telephone booth. Google is not the only company trying to shape how we will communicate in the future. Meta follows a whole different approach that could be more easily adaptable by the masses. Their recent annual keynote has shown that Mark Zuckerberg is all in on expanding his VR metaverse, featuring cartoony avatars instead of photorealistic depictions. You can get Meta's most affordable VR headset for around 500 euros, and that's all the hardware you need to join Zuckerberg's metaverse. However, user numbers for Meta's main VR application, Horizon Worlds, remain low. According to the Wall Street Journal, Meta's initial goal was 500,000 monthly active users, but right now they're only close to 200,000. So Meta's attempt at revolutionising our communication is not at all taking off at the moment. Besides the two giants, Google and Meta, other smaller companies are also on the quest to find new ways to communicate. US firm Proto has a similar approach to Google, with a booth showing your image recorded somewhere else in real time. They're set to launch a smaller version of their device that could be more practical for normal users. It could be utilised not just for talking, but also for shopping, fitness or entertainment, Proto says. However, the pre-order price for private homes starts at a whopping 2,000 US dollars. So maybe it's still a bit too early or too expensive for us average people to join the future of communication. But what's in the pipeline sure looks pretty impressive. What do you think? What's your pick? The photorealistic holodeck or the cartoony VR worlds? Let us know.